interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. eventually. She was rubbish at jumping and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. You know, floating in water, which was her superpower. All right, fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. just in time. It was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? She liked that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Claire that 
that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Mm -hmm. 